guys, welcome to a new video where today we are going to be doing something very, very, very exciting and that is testing out a new, just announced, just released camera, the Sony RX0 Mark II. Sony actually let me use this camera before it was even announced or released, so I have had hands on this for a little bit now, and I wanted to take you guys through a day in the life of Jenna with the RX0 Mark II. Now this is a super compact and very premium camera with a one inch type sensor similar to the RX100 family. So this thing actually is very incredible and super powerful and capable of doing a lot. Oh, did I mention it has a flip up screen? The RX0 did not have this feature, but the RX0 Mark II? It's here. When I saw this and I flipped up this teeny tiny little screen, I go, oh, it's so cute. So this makes it incredible for vlogging or selfie type things if that's what you're into. But it's also just nice, it's nice to have options. Cause I remember with the RX0, I was doing a lot of like underwater stuff and I couldn't flip it or I use it a lot actually for car video. This is a great feature and I'm very, very, very excited about that. So the first thing that we did with this camera, we started off our morning with a morning swim. And by morning swim, I mean, we obviously had an underwater scooter. All right guys, we are back here at the infamous pool where we are gonna be testing the RX-0 Mark II underwater. Now it is waterproof up to 30 feet. My pool goes to, it says three feet, six inches. Um, but <laughs> I have something that's gonna make this a little bit more interesting. I have a sub blue underwater scooter. I know. Uh, so thankfully it does have an attachment, I'm assuming for a GoPro, but I thankfully have used the GoPro accessories and I mounted the RX-0 on here. So we're gonna go in the pool and we're gonna test the underwater feature of the RX-0 Mark II and this underwater scooter. People are swimming laps, so I wanna be respectful of that, but like, they're gonna think I'm so cool. Or they're gonna be annoyed either way. It's like eight o'clock in the morning, so I tried to come early didn't work. I just also went to CVS to buy goggles because I realized I needed goggles. All right, we're in the pool. We've got the camera hooked up. I don't have no idea what I'm doing. This is what we live for, baby. All right, guys, we're going to swim around on top of the water first. There's a problem with the underwater scooter. It's blowing air down my bathing suit bottom, and I'm pretty sure it's making that unusable content. Still works. This is also up to six feet shockproof. I'm an extremely clumsy person. I am always dropping things. So the fact that this is very resistant is really good. It's also supposed to be crush proof up to a certain level, which is great because I'm constantly traveling, throwing cameras in my bag and worrying about them getting smashed, but this is very resilient. So the next thing that we did after our morning swim, because the camera still worked, I was like, well, Let's go for a hike. So this setup right here is the RX-0 Mark II with the Sony stereo microphone and the Sony shooting grip. I'm actually in Eaton Canyon. There's a hike, it's like three and a half miles. I've never been here before. So I figured I would try a new vlogging setup with the RX-0 Mark II. It's so cute. Let's go for a hike. All right, starting the watch. I did a bad job, my feet are wet. I have crossed the river many times to get here, but I made it to the waterfall. I think my shoes are waterproof and I didn't even know that I needed them to be. There's so many people here, so I'm gonna head back now. And uh, yeah, gotta cross over about seven more rivers. I 
think I'm a little bit more confident, which is probably when the mistakes happen. I've taken off the microphone, so right now everything you're hearing is just the built-in audio from the camera. So hopefully it sounds pretty good. It's windy, there's loud water. So I'm very curious to see uh, how it's handling it. The watch is registering 4.24 miles. Almost back to the parking lot now. It was a really great hike. Perfect day, not too hot, not too cold. Uh, there's definitely just a lot of water. So if you come to do the Eaton Canyon Trail, be prepared. This also is able to handle pictures. You can shoot JPEG, you can shoot RAW. I usually shoot both, just in, just in case. We were almost testing the durability of it on a glass table. It also has strong support for selfie or portrait shooting with the eye autofocus. So after the hike, I decided that I obviously had to test out one of my favorite features, which is time-lapse. So I went to the beach and I tried out the interval shooting function that this camera also has. Similar to the A6400, the interval function was one of my favorite things. Also, my favorite thing. Now testing out the interval shooting here at the beach. It's super, super windy, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a really incredible sunset. And I realized that this says keep off. I'm breaking the rules for the shot. I am huge on time lapses and the fact that I can record the interval in the JPEG and the raw form, it just looks so good. It allows for so much color correction. It allows for so much. Now, unfortunately, in this video, the raw images aren't supported yet. So the time lapses that you're seeing were all JPEG images and it still looks really good. I can see myself using this because when I am out, I'm using my main camera maybe for pictures or maybe for videos. And I'm like, I need a second camera for time lapses. I need a second camera for this. Having this and not having to carry two huge mirrorless cameras, this is actually gonna come in handy. So this does do the internal 4K filming. Now, I have heard that this does up to 45 minutes continuous shooting. Obviously, different conditions can affect that if it's in the sun, but 45 minutes continuous shooting is actually very impressive. You are also now able to do the 4K movie transfer to Imaging Edge. That's what used to be Play Memories, except it got upgraded. So Imaging Edge now supports 4K movie transferring. So I'll show you guys briefly a little bit about the Imaging Edge. So you can import 4K movies and edit them directly from this. So there's actually a movie edit add-on that will handle all of the in-video stabilization. So the movie editing in the Imaging Edge app allows for you to do tracking, which is actually really cool. So here, I am the subject, I wanna click on me, hit start, and it's uh, it's tracking me. It's tracking me getting that shot. Oh, 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 I was gonna handle all this stuff. Pretty well. It's tracking me. Is there an earthquake? Probably. So the fact that you can now edit 4K video right here on your phone from your camera is really cool. I can see myself using that a lot for vertical video and for Instagram stories, as well as maybe Twitter video. I'm getting into, you know, short Twitter videos, short Twitter clips, things like that. I think it could be super helpful and super useful for. So this was just a video. I literally set my camera down, recorded at 4K, 30 frames, and I actually think it looks really, really awesome. So something else that's a really cool feature of the editing software is you can change the aspect ratio. You can make it one to one, you can make it four to five, you can make it five to four, depending on what you want. Maybe you want Instagram, maybe you want Instagram story, maybe you want YouTube, whatever you want, you're able to adjust the ratio and that's actually incredible. But the process for that is basically very similar to Play Memories. You connect your camera to the camera's Wi-Fi and then you just upload all of your pictures right there. And there you have it. This also has a super slow motion, very similar to the RX100 camera. You can do up to 960 frames per second. You can also do the 480 frames per second or the 240 frames per second at HD. Now I only tested it out at the 240 frames per second. But 
that actually looks super good. So this camera does have a bunch of different focus modes. Now I left it on the automatic one because that's always just easier for me. So whatever the standard AFS focus is, that's what I left it on. Close focusing as close as 7.9 inches or 20 centimeters. So I'm not gonna lie, there were some times when I was on the hike that I wasn't really looking. It was really bright. I could see the screen, but I couldn't exactly really see it. And some of my things were out of focus, but that was only a minor thing. That was definitely like user error because I should have clicked the button. I should have been paying more attention. But when this thing was in focus, it looked so crisp and so incredible that I was actually shocked that the footage was coming from this tiny camera. I feel like there's so many different ways of which you can use this camera. If you wanted to use it without a microphone, you can just go ahead and attach it. Actually, you don't have to attach it to anything. You could hold it freely. There is a strap that comes with it for your wrist, or this is the Sony shooting grip that I've been using because it does have buttons where you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can actually zoom in and zoom out with this. You can take a photo, you can take a movie. Now I used it, I had it attached to this. And this was the setup that I was using for the hike. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. I remember one time seeing that people had the RX-0 on top of their mirrorless camera connected to that. And I thought, that's really cool. Like you could do pictures on one, you could do video, you could do different frame rates. And that's, uh, that's something that actually interests me, but I just, I haven't figured out why personally for me. But I have to say I am overall very, 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 very impressed with the RX-0 Mark II. Now it does cost around $699, so it does have a hefty price tag, but for all of the tech and everything that is inside of this, it's a really good camera. I can definitely see myself vlogging with this if I'm gonna be doing something that's like messy or maybe for hiking, because it's so much smaller um, and it's, like I said, rugged. So like if I'm gonna be climbing like rocks or climbing something, if I drop it, I'm probably gonna be okay. And here was actually a shot at night when I was just at the pier watching the sunset. So filming this in low light and being backlit, I was very, very impressed. So we're gonna catch the sunset and so far, I'm already impressed. I also took a few pictures and here are those. my very quick review and day in the life of me using the Sony RX0 Mark II. Uh, thank you so much to Sony for letting me use that. There's going to be more information in the description because this thing can do so much and I basically just like scratched the surface of what it can do. So more information in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and check out all of my friends videos about the camera as well. Bye guys!